Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I want to explain uh, briefly uh, body fluid and uh, in this video we want to speak about water, electrolyte, light and acid base balance. Uh, we know that uh, cell must act in stable and constant uh, environment and this is what we call it uh, hemostatic. So the uh, hemostatic balance include the uh, stability of uh, fluid uh, quantity and also osmolarity and its uh, electrolyte concentration and as well as uh, the potential of hydrogen I want what we call it the pH. Uh, now we have three type of uh, hemostatic balance. Uh, the first one is to made water balance and uh, second to uh, uh, maintain electrolyte uh, balance and acid base balance this is the type of hemostatic must be maintained for suitable envi environment for cell function now where we found the fluid fluid we can found it in uh, many uh, Compartment and this uh, compartment uh, uh, include uh, fluid either intracellular or extracellular, and 65% uh, of fluid uh, we uh, we found it in intracellular fluid, while 35% of it uh, uh, we we found it in extracellular fluid. Fluid and this fluid or extra cellular fluid also we found it in a uh, different percentage. Uh, Twenty-five percent of it we found it in interstitial tissue, and eight percent of it in a blood plasma, and uh, two percent uh, we found it in transcellular fluid. We mean by transcellular fluid the fluid which exists in the brain like cerebrospinal fluid or pericardial fluid or synovial fluid in the joint typical water intake our output uh, how we gain water and how we lose water uh, uh, water gain to the body or water intake uh, most of it supplied from uh, metabolic water and uh, food water uh, as well as uh, drink water which is the uh, more uh, quantity of it from the uh, drink water how we lose water uh, wh what are the ways of output of water uh, first one is we lose uh, water uh, via feces or uh, uh, by expired, expired air as well as in continuous respiration and uh, the more quantity we lose it by uh, cont uh, sorry, cutaneous uh, respiration. Here we must uh, make equilibrium. Uh, we must have a constant uh, between these two. Uh, we gain two liter and five hundred. We must lose uh, two hundred and fifty. And we when lose more uh, of this water, we must uh, supply it from other way or uh, special mechanism to be uh, to maintain constant or stable environment for uh, the cell also we lose 100 uh, ml of our body uh, waters uh, via a sweet when we lose water more water uh, we call it dehydration uh, and this is a negative water balance that as I say we must have equilibrium between the uh, gain water and lose water between intake and output when there is imbalance so we have negative water balance and we will uh, be dehydrated or in dehydration case uh, uh, how we uh, become dehydrated when we have lack in drinking water when we lost in desert or, uh, or fasting we lack of drinking water uh, and also uh, uh, if any patient uh, affected with uh, uh, diabetes mellitus or with urine or 
uh, urination he loses uh, much water and also if we have uh, uh, high bone secretion of antidiuretic hormone this hormone secreted from the posterior loop of the pituitary and uh, this hormone controls the uh, losing of uh, water from the uh, kidney with urine and also if we have perfusion sweet during hot water or uh, uh, working or training uh, as well as uh, overuse of uh, diuretic many patients um, uh, must use diuretic to treat the, uh, their case so the use of over uh, so, so the overuse of diuretic may lead to uh, dehydration and uh, finally uh, prolonged exposure to cold water or hot water also we lose uh, water from our body and uh, maybe reach the uh, condition of dehydration now how we rehydrate if we are in dehydration how we rehydrate our body how to uh, control losing of uh, water we have three mechanism in the body a natural mechanism uh, we uh, use it by or used in uh, maintain uh, hemostatic the first one is via thirst center we have thirst center in our uh, uh, brain cortex and when we lose water and when we become dehydration there will be increase in the blood osmolality and this is stimulate the secretion of antidiuretic hormone antidiuretic hormone this hormone secreted from the post uh, posterior loop of the pituitary gland in the brain and this hormone um, stimulate or reduce uh, saliva so we feel dry we go to drink water so we maintain our body uh, with water and we become rehydrated this is the first mechanism or dehydration uh, reduce blood pressure and when the blood pressure is reduced uh, the kidney secrete uh, uh, renin and uh, this renin will uh, act on angiotensin uh, 2 and also stimulate the uh, thirst center and uh, we return back to the same mechanism here dry of mouth and uh, we feel uh, dry in our mouth so we uh, we take uh, water to rehydrate our body the second mechanism is depend on uh, natrium and uh, uh, calcium uh, uh, ions. When we when we are dehydration or we are when we are in dehydration, so this is stimulate uh, the change in blood osmolality and uh, secretion of antidiuretic hormone. But here uh, we have two way either the first way as we say before the antidiuretic hormone stimulate the thirst center or it uh, uh, stimulate uh, cell uh, in kidney uh, special cell in kidney and this increased water reabsorption in the renal tubule antidiuretic hormone increase the permeability of renal tubule so it reduce uh, sodium uh, uh, secretion that mean this antidiuretic hormone increase water reabsorption in the renal tubule so it retain back water to the body and this is also lead to decrease absorption reabsorption of natrium and followed by uh, reabsorption of water and the body will be rehydrated the third mechanism in which we rehydrate our body is via secretion of uh, aldosterone aldosterone this hormone secreted from the adrenal gland adrenal gland located at the apex of the kidney and we when we are rehydrated 
uh, sorry, when we are in dehydration, so uh, there will be uh, hypo uh, tension. Uh, we have hypotension, and in this case, the kidney secrete renin, and this renin uh, stimulate the uh, formation of angiotensin, and this angiotensin stimulate adrenal cortex to secrete aldosterone. Aldosterone increase the reabsorption of sodium or natrium. Increase reabsorption and of so of natrium or sodium and then it followed by reabsorption of water so the water will follow the uh, natrium the salt the water follow the salt when natrium reabsorbed it followed by reabsorption of water and so the water will return back to uh, the tissue and in, in the same way the secretion of uh, uh, calcium will be reduced so the stimulation of secretion of aldosterone stim stimulated by hypotension, hyponatremia, and hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia, hyponatremia, and hypotension. This is three stimulate the adrenal cortex to secrete aldosterone. And aldosterone will act to reabsorb, increase reabsorption of natrium, and then uh, increase reabsorption of water and uh, it also increase the secretion of potassium in the urine this is the mechanism control the loose of water from the body the second part in our video today is about electrolyte electrolyte is very important in physiology why it is important in physiology because these chemical are very important in metabolism process in the body it is very important in metabolism process and we know that metabolism is the uh, main source of uh, uh, synthesis of protein or uh, uh, enzymes hormone uh, as well as it act as a co in uh, many uh, reaction in the metabolic uh, processes. Also, these electrolytes determine the potential, the electricity, electricity in the cell. So uh, many channels, many carriers need, uh, uh, or contraction of muscle need uh, energy, and this uh, electrolyte uh, is a very important factor in this function. The third one is uh, the strongly effect of osmolarity of body fluid and the body water content and distribution. This electrolyte control water distribution in the uh, body. As I said before, in the mechanism of aldosterone and the mechanism of antidiuretic hormone, we uh, we see the important role of natrium and potassium in reabsorption and uh, rehydration of the body or rehydrated of the body. What are the important uh, electrolyte in the body w or in human body? We have four uh, major cation and three uh, anion. The four major cation are natrium, sodium, uh, and calcium, potassium and um, calcium and the fourth one is hydrogen ion while the major uh, anion are uh, the chloride and uh, the second one is carbonic acid and the third one is the phosphor this is the all about uh, water and the uh, electrolyte uh, 